All right, so I want to talk about the difference between a purple belt and a brown belt because it's an important distinction and it's what's coming up for Jamie and he's there. So what is a purple belt? When I was a purple belt uh, and when I roll with purple belts, even, even till today, I noticed one specific thing. When you're caught in their game, when you play their specific game, it's like they're a black belt in that part of jujitsu. What does that mean? They might have a specific guard they play. They might have a specific top game they play. But that is what they're excellent at. That's their black belt area. Everywhere else, they might be blue to purple belt area. When you start progressing into brown belt, your mind opens up across all the different areas where you play jujitsu. What does that mean? It means that when someone takes you out of your game, that you start becoming comfortable and you start having an open mind about movement. For me, that's the single most important thing about being a brown belt and about the progression in jujitsu. And it's really like a step towards black belt because once you're a black belt in my opinion you should have a very kind of open free-flowing game where things happen to you and you have different options and it, i want to make an important thing here about confidence to me the definition of confidence is having different options in any given situation what does that mean in jujitsu in life and anything that if someone started a fight with you and you had never been in that situation and you had never experienced that situation you would panic and that's what jiu-jitsu is very good for. It gives you options in any given situation. So I've been rolling with Jamie. And one of the things that's special about Jamie is exactly what I said. Jamie can drop his ego on a dime and he can let you put him in situations that are uncomfortable. He'll learn in those situations. And the next time he's in that situation, he'll, fi he'll fight completely different from there because he actually is willing to pick up the movement. And that's, in my opinion, the epitome of what it means to become very advanced in jiu-jitsu. That's why he does very well in competition also because you can take him out of his game and he goes, oh, okay, you took me out of my game, but I've been here before because I'm willing to experiment in the gym. I can drop my ego and I can become as good as I can be. So very proud. I love rolling with you. Uh, you make me better when I roll with you. So. Yeah, everyone's gonna slap you. Everyone's gonna hit you slap. I'll slap you with this one. Oh. <laughs> oh, All right, everybody, line up. All right, let's oh, do geez. it. <laughs> I just dropped James too, bro. Hold on, 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 hold on. Oh, look at that move. Brand new, even better. I'll say something. All right, I guess I'll start it off, huh? All right, we need people on this side too, don't we? Oh, damn. Come on. Oh! oh come on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll back, 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 back. He's coming back, he's coming back. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's going to be revenge. He's going to remember that. <laughs> hey, congrats. <laughs> 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 Look at this.